guys, and today we're talking about the Johnny Five edition of the Apex. So hot right now. That's right. This is a new series where I am going to take a popular build formula, turn it upside down, put it on its head, and use my own list of components instead of these popular spec build. And now this Apex frame has one of the most popular spec build formulas, the Mr. Steel formula that we have ever seen. And I did my slight variation of that when I used the Apex Moon Boot in a previous review of the Apex. But I want to vary off a little bit further. I'm not using an air unit this time. I'm using a Vista unit and I'm using the iFlight Beast 30 by 30 all-in-one flight controller ESC combo board in order to reduce weight even further to see if I can reach close to that analog weight level with DJI on board without giving up any performance at the same time. And my goodness. Uh, so this was kind of a restoration build for me. I got this frame in trade and when it actually arrived, it was missing a lot of pieces. It was missing the camera plates, the wire covers, a few standoffs, most of the hardware. And uh, for some reason, this one paint, this one uh, panel was painted blue. And so things just started clicking. I had the all-in-one beast board in full review. I had a set of these Hype Train Vanover blue motors, and they're so beautiful, so rare, so hard to get. Even though I tep I pretty much race on the RCN powered version of this motor, I couldn't bring myself to actually race and uh, destroy this motor. So I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to throw all this together. Uh, it was missing the skids, but Impulse RC publishes the STL files for this. So I printed my own versions to save a little bit of weight there. Um, so I was able to reduce the weight that with this Runcam 5 4K, and a 1050 milliamp 6S pack, I got the weight all the way down to 624 grams. 624 grams, that is in the realm of Mr. Steele's builds when he is using a Session 5. Now, Session 5 is almost extinct, so you can't really use it anymore. So this is a lighter, almost as good alternative. And now that you have access to be able to use that GyroFlow software, you can get very GoPro-like footage uh, with a setup like this. So how does it fly? My goodness, this amount of power in this motor, this 2207 1860 kV uh, Vanover edition motor, which is the same as the RC in power, is just a dream come true. Of course, I'm running it on Crossfire. Crossfire! The build was super, super easy. You just solder up your motor wires, your XC60, and you're good to go because the iFlight Beast all-in-one, there's a video out on the channel on that, has plugs that you plug in for your receiver and to the DJI unit. So like the soldering and build time for this was so minimal. And this is probably one of the cleanest builds that I've ever made. Uh, like I said, it's been so long since I wanted an all-in-one that I could really trust to build a 5-inch and have everything cleaner, lighter, easier, and faster to build, and man, after conforming, conformal coating, that Beast 30 by 30 everything fits in there nicely. It's super low profile since there's only one layer. I do have the wiring for the Vista and the camera going underneath right here. And then of course it comes back up here. Here's the Vista wiring at the back. I used a generic sort of antenna mount right here and zip tied this on there right here. My uh, Crossfire Mortal T is gonna go down there. Yes, I am using Express LRS for my racing and micro builds, but for five inch freestyle where I may be going a little bit further in range and where I absolutely want the control link because this is a much more expensive build, uh, I want the strongest controlling possible cross Fire. You can see that I have attached my Vista unit only with double-sided tape, but it's not just any double-sided tape. It is this uh, 3M 30-pound mounting tape. This is some serious grip on there, so I don't have any worries that this thing is going to come out. Now, what else do you notice about this mounting in the back? I have it slightly offset to the right, not centered. Why? Because I wanted to attach my capacitor right here and be able to zip tie it to this portion right here. Um, this is the URUAV pre-wired capacitors on there, so it has a little cap on 
the cap with some wire leads so it's very easy to install then i also use one of these uh, this came with a couple of 470 35 capacitors i installed one at the pigtail so double capacitors because i want this to be safe i do have a nebula pro sorry guys if you're not able to get one this is my own personal stash I've been waiting on what should I actually use this for. Was this a success? And I have to say yes, this is one of my favorite builds uh, because it went together so quickly. I was able to get out in the air flying so quickly. The, <laughs> the, the thing is like, it's almost two lights. Uh, the amount of power in this motor is just so juicy at this weight level my goodness the speed it feels almost like a race quad because it's just barely a little bit heavier it's about 100 grams heavier than my average race quad and uh that difference is not that big so if you really want to be able to do aerial acrobatics and have a lightweight feel it feels almost like flying one of those five inch ultralights that amount of float but with like way more speed like a whole nother gear in order to shift into so i have raised the camera angle a little bit i may put a throttle cap on here to reduce some of that get a little bit of that control back because it's just like so much more power than i'm used to the other thing that I can do though is just run the Hero 9. If I wanna add a little bit of extra weight to bring the weight a little bit higher, to bring the control a little bit better, just add a little bit more weight so I can run a larger battery and a larger GoPro and then it'll feel just perfect. And I love having that flexibility to be able to run light if I want to, to be able to run heavy if I want to, to be able to get more or less flight time depending on how I want the quad to feel and uh one of the easiest builds i've ever done so this is the johnny five edition formula i fight beast all in one um rcn power motors you can't really get the van over v1 but it's just a colorway option so i'll leave the link to the motors that you can buy that are the same as this there is the nebula pro dji camera of course uh and crossfire very simple build green list very simple build to get you going the goal with this johnny 5 edition was to see if i could reduce weight and see if i could reduce build time so easy to build up i'll have some of the walkthrough for that in here um, this all-in-one uses plugs so you don't even have to solder anything to the board <laughs> other than the motors it's so quick and easy and it just comes out looking so clean my goodness one of the most uh, attractive builds I've ever built. So we're doing the comments, guys. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding the Apex right now with some of the comparisons to the AOS 5. Um, let's just address that. They're both complex builds. You know, the Apex looks simple, but with the key in here, with all the extra hardware, with all the extra little pieces, with these camera plates instead of 3D printed mounts, it's complex, okay? But like a lot of complex builds it's worth it when you fly it it flies better than it looks simple but there's a lot of uh extra development that went into making this one of the best flying quads out there i personally like the looks of it better i personally like the ability to mount cameras to it a little better than some of those other ones out there so this is going to be my freestyle quad that i use to get hd footage for the channel when i'm not reviewing another freestyle build and so because what I noticed what happened is I would sell off every freestyle build after I reviewed it and there had been a handful of times where I needed a five inch uh, freestyle build to get some footage and I didn't have one so this is going to be my personal freestyle rig the Johnny 5 edition apex thanks guys All right.